Hello and welcome to Featherbrook Estate. Today we're going to be touring a multi-level, ultra-luxurious mansion in one of South Africa's most sought-after suburbs. This modern masterpiece offers some unique design elements and fascinating architectural choices, as well as provides some amazing views. Spanning across its levels are five bedrooms, all en suite, a guest bathroom and unique and exhilarating entertainment spaces all for 22 and a half million rand but once we're done touring this home what i'd like you to do is comment your favorite feature down below of what you liked most and remember you can find your next home on privateproperty.co.za my name is chad riveros this is the private property home shopper show welcome home And now with that intro out of the way, let's talk about what we're going to find downstairs through that beautiful glass door. First things first, you walk into a stunning reception area with a set of wood stairs leading upstairs onto all of your living areas. But if you don't go up those stairs and instead you journey forth, you'll find yourself in a beautiful guest suite with a built-in bathroom and a sliding glass door leading outside onto your downstairs garden. Bench a little bit further and you'll find yourself within your very own custom gym room with all the workout equipment you could ever want to lead an active lifestyle. And a little bit further on, you'll find yourself within a storage room. It's a single garage that houses all your activities. You can park your bikes there, but you can also park your lawnmower. In that storage room, you have a walk-in cold room, one of those huge fridges for you to store any of your goods that you don't want to put upstairs in the house and a little bit more storage space. Downstairs on this side of the house, you also find two of the four car garages. They split with one downstairs and another one on the other end of the house upstairs. But that does name all the features downstairs. And I think it's now time to walk through this glass door and find out what living in a 22.5 million rent house feels like. Follow me. Wood and glass in terms of design choices always go well together, but this home is more than just interior views because what they've done is they've taken advantage of the fact that this home is built on a hill. And in fact, that means no matter where you look, you're gonna find a view that takes your breath away. But right now we find ourselves in the living areas. Now this living area consists of your kitchen, your dining room, as well as your lounge areas. And there's never a better place to start then right here in the kitchen home of the best food you're probably ever gonna cook. To my left hand side, we've got two Siemens appliances, a microwave, an oven, as well as a warming drawer, all inset into gloss gray cupboards, perfect for all your dry goods storage. On my left hand side, a chef prep sink, and right in front of me, you've got a five top gas burner with an extractor fan that rises up out of the counter. Then to my left, as well as behind me, we've got two frosted glass doors, one leading off to the pantry and the other leading off to the scullery. The scullery will also take you to your two-car garage that is located upstairs. So if you're coming with any groceries, it's straight into the scullery and away. Also, I love the placements of those two because it keeps this kitchen area free from clutter. All of your appliances are sitting in your scullery and your pantry, including your fridge. So I love how clean cut and simple this kitchen looks, but convenience is still top of mind. As you can see, plugs coming out of the counter in case you need extra plug points when whipping up or entertaining a, a lot of guests. Also really love this over here, a six seater guest nook, breakfast nook. So if you wanna sit and have an intimate dinner with friends or family, you can do it right here without moving into your dining room area. plenty of space and tons of light thanks to those full length windows. This room offers so much, from its views and air conditioning to its stunning ensuite bathroom. Thank you. 
And right over here, one of my favorite features, a window framing something that can only be called picturesque. You can see the top of Krugersdorp Mountain, beautiful, beautiful scenery, and they've turned it into something like a painting. But then, sometimes it's time to kick back, relax, and take in these gorgeous views with a beautiful bottle of wine, or in this case, champagne. We've got two built-in refrigerators, a full-on liquor cabinet right behind me. Beautiful placement, because it means you can take that bottle of champagne right over here to your eight-seater dining room table. The midway point between your kitchen as well as your formal lounge area, and it sits between two beautiful patios. If we look at the ceiling, we've got inbuilt speakers that continue throughout the house. So if you are into entertainment, this house is for you. But also a nice thing to note about the ceiling is the beautiful bulkheads with that recessed LED lighting. It must make living here at night, specifically in the ambience, so utterly fantastic. But now it's time to take a look at the formal lounge. Spacious with a built-in fireplace for those cozy movie nights, as well as air-conditioned when it comes to these sweltering hot South African summers. Inbuilt storage, plenty of space for an LED television. And if we go this way, we come to an indoor-outdoor area that is protected by automatic blackout blinds. You press a button on a remote, the blinds roll down, block out any of the sunlight if you're trying to have a cozy movie night, or just protect you from the elements. Now, another really cool feature about this home is the way it's situated and the way it's designed. Privacy was top of mind. You don't have a lot of homes that look into your space, specifically by the pool area. But this outdoor area transitions not only from a lounge but to a dining room as well as a fire pit right over there if you want to kick back, relax and enjoy the night sky and the night light that you see from a home this tall right here on Krugersdorp Mountain. You've also got a sun tanning deck as well as an observation deck for you too. Just sit and enjoy the views. Not many homes have views as spectacular as this, so it's so nice for us to show you another one. But we're not done with the outdoor areas just yet because on the other side, we've got this right here, your pool area. Fantastic spot right here to sit down and relax. And then over here, we've got another eight-seater dining room table, this time an outdoor one for you to enjoy exactly what comes out of that. Stainless steel, wood-fired braai, ready for you to entertain any of your guests. All of these doors are stackable. And the aluminium, glass, wood, and raw stone are some of the design elements you'll see out here that showcase this home's finest features. But right now, it's time to take a look at this pool. The pool and fountain, or should I say water feature, really do dominate the space right in the center of an all-weather low upkeep deck with indigenous plants all around you. But the geometric design elements really do showcase how a couple of key choices can turn something rather simple into something so absolutely unique and special. And there's no better place to enjoy that than the view you get right over here from this shaded deck, looking not only down onto your pool, but also inside the rest of the home. And that home is what we're gonna go explore right now. And now we are back in the home with so much more to explore. Coming to the informal side of the house, on my right hand side, a beautiful guest toilet, half bathroom that is perfectly situated, not only to cater to everybody on the formal side of the house, but also where we are right now without having anybody go into any of the bedrooms. Right in front of me is the first bedroom of the house, but before we look at that, it's time to go into the informal lounge. Follow me. Just off the formal lounge, but also a second lounge and guest bedroom. The second lounge is the perfect movie watching spot. Not only does it have a bulkhead with a central speaker system to cater for all your entertainment needs, but it also has smart LEDs to perfectly set the mood. Luckily, this secluded spot isn't too small, with enough space for several comfy couches and a piano. But what makes this space so special has to be the mesmerizing view. Now, it's off to the guest bedroom. As you walk in, you're welcomed by plush carpets, plenty of space, and tons of light thanks to those full-length windows. This room offers so much, from its views and air conditioning to its stunning ensuite bathroom. 
The bathroom is spacious and airy with a freestanding bath and a large shower that's also wheelchair friendly with double vanities. The built-in cupboards are neatly tucked away, creating a passage between the bathroom and the front of the bedroom. And now it's time to not take the stairs for once as beautifully well lit as they are because this home comes inbuilt with its very own elevator. We press this button right here and we wait. And here we are after our short lift ride on the upstairs landing where the remainder of the bedrooms are located. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk around the staircase and go into the first bedroom on the far side of the house and work our way all the way to the master bedroom. Now in this bedroom you've got an ensuite bathroom, free standing bath located just below a sliding glass door, plenty of privacy but also stunning views, a single toilet as well as single vanity with under counter storage. This room has got plenty of cupboard space all decked out in this matte grey and then it is serviced by an aircon and has its very own balcony. But the balcony is also wraparound, which means you get to also experience the views that only the front of the home gets to see. Now this back or this balcony is the perfect place for you to see the four Jojo tanks that are located just behind the pool area. So not only is this home off grid, but you never need to worry about your water supply either. But that wraps up this bedroom. We've got three more rooms to take a look at and it's time to get moving. Now it's off to the guest bedroom. As you walk in, you're welcomed by plush carpets, plenty of space and tons of light thanks to those full length windows. This room offers so much, from its views and air conditioning to its stunning ensuite bathroom. The bathroom is spacious and airy with a freestanding bath and a large shower that's also wheelchair friendly with double vanities. The built in cupboards are neatly tucked away, creating a passage between the bathroom and the front of the bedroom. In today's world, no home is complete without a dedicated office space, and this home does not disappoint. The office has enough room for four workspaces, so the entire family can get their jobs or homework done in peace. The direct access to the balcony and those spectacular views just make this room even better. And just before we go any further and take a look at the other two bedrooms located here, you've got two massive sliding glass doors that look down onto your pool. So if you thought the view downstairs of this pool was incredible, take a look at the view right here. An amazing design choice, absolutely love it. And now it's time to take a look at this incredible master suite. And here we are, the final bedroom we're looking at today. And there's a couple of key features here I'd love to talk about. Beautiful bulkhead ceilings with recessed LED lights. In those ceilings, you've also got the speakers. So your music for the entertainment systems continues no matter where in the home you are. Sliding doors leading out onto a gigantic balcony that we're going to see in just a second. And very spacious, very open, very airy, which I think is key to any relaxing master suite. But before we take a look at the bathroom section, let's see what's behind frosted door number one. And now with that walk-in closet taken care of, let's make our way to the ensuite bathroom. On my right hand side behind another frosted glass door you have your toilet tucked away neatly and privately. But this bathroom is kitted out to the nines. On my right hand side a heated towel rack, a gigantic freestanding bath sitting in front of sliding glass doors that open up letting you enjoy nature while enjoying a bubble bath. For privacy we have those automatic blinds and then then we've got his and hers vanities, under counter storage, two medicine cabinets and a mirror that illuminates you when you're getting ready, making sure you always look your best. 
Behind me to round off this bathroom is a walk-in shower of epic proportions, beautifully tiled and lovely in terms of situation. But before we close off with this bedroom, there's one more thing we need to talk about and that is your very own personal balcony. The tallest balcony within the whole residence belongs to you as the owner of this master suite and it gives you unparalleled views of the whole of Krugersdorp as well as plenty of space for you to not only design it as you want in terms of comfort but also for you to relax, stretch out and even catch a tan. But right now it is time for us to say goodbye. So follow me as we talk to you about how you can become the very next owner. And here we are, unfortunately, at the end of this incredible show, but let's recap what this multi-story mansion had in store for us. Five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a four-car garage, completely off-grid, four Jojo tanks, incredible views, and a pool area to die for, all for 22.5 million rand. If you'd like to become the next owner of this amazing family home. What I'd like you to do is contact Suzette von Benek from Remax and schedule a viewing right this moment. And a huge thank you goes out to both Suzette and Remax for allowing us to tour this home and show all of our loyal viewers what it has to offer. And talking about viewers, make sure you like, share and subscribe to the Home Shopper Show and the Private Property Channel or better yet, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode or any of our other amazing shows like the Private Property Podcast. And always remember to find your next home on privateproperty.co.za. But for myself, Chad Rivera, the team at The Home Shopper Show and everybody at Private Property, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time as we tour some of South Africa's most incredible homes. Goodbye.